You will not believe what we're going to do in this video. Our goal is simple. I just want to take this CSV list of numbers and add it. The Microsoft 365 version is simple. But the one you're not going to believe is the formula that will work in any version of Excel. Now, in Microsoft 365, we use text split. The text, well, there it is, comma. The delimiter in double quotes, we'll use a comma. Close, and this will spill all the numbers. But notice alignment to the left, that means it's text. If we use the sum function, it will not work. F2, but converting text numbers to numbers is easy. Any math operation on these text numbers converts them to numbers. I'm going to use double negative. You could also use plus 0 at the end. When I control enter, bam, those numbers are numbers, F2. Now we simply put it inside sum. And that formula right there, control enter, copy it down, is another reason why Microsoft 365 Excel is the only app that matters. But let's check out this version. Now, in order to get this trick to work, you're going to have to use an Excel macro-enabled workbook, .xlsm. Now, we're not going to do VBA, but we're going to go back in the time machine and use a trick that requires this file extension. Now, the first thing is I want to make a substitution. I want to put a plus where there's a comma. Equals sub, there's the text, comma. Old text, well, we need a comma, comma. And what do we want to put in its place? We're going to put a plus symbol. Control Enter. But the thing is, what do we do with that? There's actually no way that I know of to evaluate this in the worksheet. But here's where it gets amazing. If we right click, come up to Insert, you probably have seen this before, and you wondered what these ones at the top were. This goes way back in Excel history. We can actually insert an Excel 4.0 macro sheet and there on that sheet, we have an evaluate function. Now, here's the crazy thing I got to show you. If you know the keyboard to insert a sheet, well, that's Shift F11, and there it is. Right click, delete. But here's what happens when I try to insert a sheet. I'm a bad typer, so I accidentally hit Control F11. And sure enough, that's the keyboard that goes way back in history to insert a macro sheet. Now we want to come over here. Copy, come over to Macro 3, somewhere, Control-V. And here's what we're going to do. Because we're on a macro sheet, we have access to all sorts of amazing macro Excel 4.0 functions. So we're going to type evaluate, close parentheses. But watch what happens. Control-Enter. When you insert a macro sheet, by default, it's in auditing mode. So you have to use the keyboard or up in Formulas and click Show Formulas. I'm going to use the keyboard Control tilde. And that formula right there is absolutely amazing. But here's the thing. We can't use this on a regular sheet. But if we put it into a defined name, then we can use that defined name anywhere to make this calculation. I'm going to copy this, Control-C, Escape. Control F3 to open up Name Manager. New, I'm going to call it Eval. Down here, I'm going to Control V. The question is, how in the world do we get a relative cell reference when we're creating defined names? Well, this is another crazy trick. Double click, and because we have this cell selected, when I select one cell to the left, hit the F4 key one, two, three times, Remove the dollar signs, and then you have to remove the actual sheet name. But leave the exclamation point. That exclamation point, the cell selected, and the cell to the left, or any relative cell reference, that's how you put a relative cell reference into a defined name. And that's it. When we use this defined name, it'll remove the commas and add. Click OK. There it is. Close. Come back to 1817. 
equals eval. I see it there. Control Enter, double click, and send it down. And bam, that strange little defined name will work in any version, at least back to Excel 4.0. All right, if you like that video, be sure to click that thumbs up, leave a comment, and subscribe, because there's always lots more videos to come from Excel is Fun. All right, we'll see you next video.